welcome to another video. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, everyone. I hope you're enjoying your holidays. Now, since the holidays are here and this year is coming to an end, I thought that it would be cool to rank the LLMs released this year, highlighting which are the best releases and which aren't. So, I have the tier list here, and we'll go through the LLMs one by one. I'll try to be fast, and we'll rank them with a little bit of commentary. Also, I won't be talking about O3 because it isn't released, and most of the stuff about it seems like a gimmick. So, if you want to know more about that, you can check out my members' only video on it. It only starts from $5 and also supports the channel. Anyway, let's get started right away with these LLMs in just random order. So, the first LLM that we have here is Gemini 2.0 Flash. This was launched like a week back, and it is actually very similar to GPT-40 because it can also handle multimodal inputs as well as outputs like audio. It is also very fast and free. So, this is the model that I have been using a lot these days, and I'm going to put it in the S tier because I'm loving this model right now. Also, I don't have the thinking model here, and I think that it's very similar to 2.0 Flash. So, you can consider Flash as both the thinking and general model in this one block. Now the next one is 3.5 Sonnet. So, this doesn't need much talk. Everyone knows that this is a proper S-tier model. So, let's just put it here. Now we have 3.5 Haiku. So, 3.5 Haiku has been a little more controversial due to the fact that it is double the price of 3 Haiku and is much higher in cost. I do believe that it should have been a little cheaper, and it's not as good as Sonnet or Gemini 2.0 Flash either, which is literally free. So, this will go in the A tier. Next, we have Mistral Large 2. Mistral Large 2 is a good model, but it's not as good, and the licenses of these models are a little bad as well. So, this will go in the B tier. We also have the Nemo model by Mistral and NVIDIA, which was a great model at the time it launched, but I think there are some better models released after that. So, this is a B-tier model as well. Next, we have the Pixtral model. The Pixtral model is also good to use, but the licenses were not that good. So, this is also a B-tier. Now, Ministral is also a B-tier model, due to the same reasons, and the performance is not as great. Next, we have the main open-source Frontier models, which are Llama 3.1, 3.2, and 3.3. Talking about Llama 3.1, it was a great model when it was launched, and the 8B model still holds a lot of potential, along with the 405B model, which is the biggest model we have seen. The licenses of these models were also good. So, this is an A-tier model. Now, the next models were Llama 3.2 models, and these were the literal opposites. These were two mini models and two vision models, and all of these models were atrocious. The vision models were not good at all, and the same goes for the mini models. So, these go in the C tier. The next model is Llama 3.3, which currently only has the 70B model but that model is really very good. It's too good, to be honest, for the size. It makes it the best 70B model yet. So, this is a straight-up S-tier model. Next up, we have Quen 2.5. I'm talking about all the models in the Quen 2.5 lineup, excluding the 2.5 coder models. Anyway, this was a good model, but the instruction following and general knowledge of these models are really bad. So, although it performs great in mathematics or general tasks, it fails in general world usage. But they were still good. So, these models are going in the A tier. Now, we have the 2.5 coder models, which made a lot of hype when they were launched. Even the Quen guys were comparing them to Sonnet. 
They even trained the model on Ader's own benchmarks to make it more believable, but it wasn't good at all. Ader recently updated their benchmark questions with multiple language ones, and now you can see that it comes near GPT-4 O-Mini. So, this model was not great despite all the hype. So, at max, this is a B-tier model. I'm being generous here by giving it this rank. Now, we have QWQ. QWQ is by Quen, and it's similar to O-1. It performed pretty well, and it was one of the models that was really an open-source competitor to O-1 because, although DeepSeek has their R-1 model, they haven't released its weights yet. So, I must give this to Quen, and I'll give them an A rank in this as well. So, it's an A tier. Now, we have DeepSeek's R-1 light model, which was also a good reasoning model. I liked it, and this will also go in the A tier. Apart from this, we have DeepSeek V2.5, which is basically a merged version of both the coder model and the general model, and it is a really good model, especially considering that the price for it via their API is extremely low. So, this is an A tier model. Now, we have Phi 4. This is a great mini model. In the 14B segment, I think this is the first model that I have seen perform as great as this model. You can check out all the testing videos. I have a playlist for all of them. Anyway, this is the best model for 14B size. So, this is an S tier model. Next, we have GPT 40, and this model is not as good, although it brought the omni modality thing with it, but it was not available at the time of launch. And then Gemini caught up, and Gemini became much better than this and free. So, this is a C tier model. Next, we have GPT 40 Mini, and this model was good, but the pricing wasn't great. And now Gemini 2.0 Flash beats it at pricing. Although one thing is that it now supports real time voice, which makes it a little good. So, this is also a C tier. Now, we have O1 and O1 Mini models, and both of these models will go in B tier as well, because I don't like these models as much. And it's like hell, a lot of expensive. And I wouldn't pay $200 to use these kinds of models at all. They don't even show their chain of thought because they don't want others to train their model, which is a lot sketchy for them to do. But still, it may be good sometimes. So, this is a B tier. Now, we have Gemma 2, and these models are pretty much trash. I can't believe the same company made 2.0 Flash and this model. These models are so bad that I don't want to even bother. So, this is a D tier. Next, we have Code Strawl, and this was a good coding model and better than Quen 2.5. There's also a free tier of the model by them, which I like to use. So, this is an A tier. We also have Grok 2. This is a good model as well, and the best part about it is that it's uncensored, and it's also now free on Twitter, as well as there's a free API. So, this is also an S-tier model because it is pushing the thing forward, and they also open-source their previous gen models as well, which is what I also like about it. So, these are the major models that were released this year. I am not talking about stuff like Gemini, 1.5 Pro and stuff, because there's a new gen model, and they are now outdated, and I'm only talking about the models that I have tested or have used to pass on my judgments. Overall, this year has been really great for LLMs, and every LLM is pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below, or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the Join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.